This is really a funny little problem. We need to calculate the blue area in the picture. But can we do it without knowing the radius of the inner circle? The only thing we know is the length of the dashed line. But what will happen to the circles if the radius in the smaller circle is increasing? Look, when the radius increases, then both circles need to be increased too. And the value of the area is still going to be the same number. When the radius decreases, then the area is still going to be the same number. So, please pause the video and try to calculate the blue area. The first thing that I will do is to write a right triangle in the picture, because I like right triangles. I write it like this. And the dashed line was equal to 10, the half of the line equals 5, the little radius equals little r, and the big radius equals big r. And then we can use our best friend, the Pythagorean theorem. And it tells me that if we square the longest side, then it equals the sum of the squares of the two smaller sides. In our example, it means like this. Square the big R, and it equals R squared plus 5 squared. 5 squared equals 25, so we can write it like this. The area of the big circle can be written like this. Big R squared times pi. But we can replace big R squared with this bit because it equals big R squared. So the area of the big circle can be written like this too. And then we can take pi and multiply it inside the parentheses like this. And then the area of the big circle equals radius squared times pi plus 25 pi. And of course, the area of the little circle is small radius times itself and times pi. And now we know the area of the blue circle can of course be written like area of a big circle minus area of small circle. Because if you paint the whole thing and then erase the thing in the middle, then you get the blue. And the erasing is kind of take minus. We can substitute this bit here with the area for the big circle. And the area of small circle can be substitute with r squared pi. And then we're getting this expression here. And if you take the pencil and cancel r squared pi and minus r squared pi, then the blue area is 25 pi. It is always the same and always 25 pi. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. My name is Jonas, a Swedish math teacher, and more videos are coming. Please subscribe also. Bye bye, see you in the next one.